por isso. Hello. Okay. So, um, I know the title kind of sounds like one of those things that you'd see, one of those quizzes, those weird quizzes that you'll see on like Pinterest, like, what kind of foil are you? What Superman are you? And what superhero are you? Something that kind of thing. Um, but actually, my title is referring to the gospel that we just had. Um, I guess by the time this is out, it'll be yesterday. Um, so the Sunday's gospel reading. Um, yeah. So what kind of soil are you? So I'm going to um, briefly read the gospel. It's not. I'm not reading it from a Bible, but it's the same Bible passage. I'm reading it from the Magnify Card. Get this, it's go. Okay, so, I'm reading, reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Wait, hold on. Here it is. Okay. A sower went out to sow, and he sowed. As he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it was withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. Who has ears ought to hear. That is not the entire gospel. Um, but that was part of today's gospel. I'm putting the readings in the description because you should read them because they're really good. Explanation, although I'm sure most of you are semi-familiar with all of this. So, first one, Jesus, the sower sows the seed on the ground and it falls on the path and the birds come and take it away. This is representing like the people who just don't don't really accept it at all, and they they like the devil is the birds represent the devil, and the devil just takes it out of their hearts, and it doesn't even cultivate at all. And the second one is the rocky soil. So the soil is shallow. There's some soil, but not a lot, and so the seed can't go deep. It can't the seed cannot take root, so it takes root a little bit, but then when the sun, like when it gets really hot it just wilters and that's explaining you know um and saying when problems and when it gets really hard and you have to make sacrifices for the sake of this gospel that you've just accepted then you're just gonna like i'm out of here and forget about it and then the third one is the roots not the roots the root they can't take root the thorns it lands on thorny ground and it can't take root at all I mean, it does take root, but then the thorns choke it, and this is the word cannot grow when people are obsessed with the world. Jesus says you can't serve both God and man, or God and money. Um, so, um, people are just obsessed with the world, and you can't you can't have the world's point of view and you can't, and God's point of view. Com they're not compatible. You need to live in the world, but not be of the world. Um, and then the fourth one is the good seed, the rich soil. Um, it lands and it, um, the person, the soil, it grows and it produces a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. And so that's like the person who fully accepts the, fully accepts the gospel and is just so immersed in it and is in love with Christ. So here's my question to you today. What soil are you? Are you the hardened, the, the um, pathway hardened by life and won't? be vulnerable um and you won't let christ in to your heart um and you just let and the devil can just easily steal it away are you the um are you the rocky soil that is um at first just jumps in and is really happy about it and all that um but as soon as like it gets really hard and as saint john of the cross says your spirit you want to fulfill your spiritual sweet tooth um you just like as soon as all the uh jesus high ends you're out of here or are you the one that uh, that is obsessed with the world and is just like in the world and the seed can't grow because you're so immersed in the world or are you the one that completely le that lets christ come into your heart and take root my the gospel take root and you totally live the gospel to the best of your ability and as my mom so astutely pointed out this uh this afternoon while we were talking about it over lunch um 
she said, you know, I can be multiple ones depending on the day. And I was like, that is so right. Sometimes I am the thorny ground. Sometimes I'm the hardened ground. Sometimes I'm the ro the rocky ground. Sometimes, like, every once in a while, I actually might be the, um, the grounds that, like, lets it take root. Um, so it all depends on my mood. Now, that's not to say you should let your emotions take control of your, um, spirit of your life, especially your spiritual life. You can't just like, oh, I want to, I'm going to pray now because I want to because half the time then you will not pray. I know this from experience. Um, um, because, you know, your will and your, your intellect and your will are supposed to be taking care of your intellect and then your will are supposed to be taking care of your spiritual life. But, um, emotions are good. I'm not saying emotions are bad. They're part of us, but they should not be in charge of our life. Uh, to wrap it up, try your best to do, to be the good soil. Ask our Lord and Our Lady and the Saints for um, grace to help you be better at that. To move towards what that goal of being the good soil so that you can bear fruit for God's kingdom. Now go get holy and have fun doing it.